Hey guys, Drew here. Paula. And today we're gonna try some fizzy water. Sparkling water, depending on where you are, what you call it. Different parts of the world call it different things. Um, so we're gonna rate some of the ones that we can get here locally. And we were just strolling through the grocery store and we saw them and we have, like we both really like sparkling water. But uh, we've never really done a full comparison. We just sometimes just buy whatever we like or what's on sale, but never really giving any thought to what it tastes like. Yeah, so we thought it would be really interesting, well, fun for us to do it. And like Andrew said, that these are just these are just grocery store randomly chosen um, fizzy water. Yeah. So I'm sure there's lots of other choices out there, but that's what we, we chose. Just, we just got what was yeah. close to us. Yeah. And so we've sort of come up with uh, a few criteria to, to rate these on. We have taste, we have the size of the bubbles, we have strength of the fizziness, and we have the aftertaste. And we have a rating scale from one to five, from one being the worst to five being good, I guess. Yeah. Whereas though the size of the bubbles, we're gonna do like small, medium, and large. Cause yeah. you know, I think the sparkling water can have a different size bubble. So that's just kind of our, very scientific uh, <laughs> way of rating. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so we have... We have Nestle, just uh, Nestle's water. Nestle Pure Life. Pure Life. That's what it is? Yeah. yeah. Which incidentally owns the next two that we have. <laughs> San, San Peregrino. Yeah. And again, none of these have any flavoring added to them. And so we have a Perrier next. Yes. That's good. And then we've got the... The President's Choice Blue Menu. Just from our local supermarket again, just yeah. a fizzy water, no salt, nothing out of 10 of these. And we have Canada Geese Carbonated Natural Mineral Water. Very Canadian. <laughs> so let's start with the Nestle. Okay, let's see what Nestle is like. And we both really like fizzy water. Uh, I've been drinking it for quite some time. Uh, after I kind of gave up drinking soda and pop. Uh, not, I still drink it occasionally, but I don't want to drink it all the time. This is nice because there's no calories and it's still kind of bubbly. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm just going to look at them, the bubbles and stuff. Yeah. The bubbles? Yeah, the bubbles are... Kind of big. Yeah, they're big and... Those are large bubbles. Strength mm. of the fizziness? Taste. So taste. What did you think of the taste? I think it's pleasant. Uh, there's no afford. It's neutral for me. Okay. So I would say like a neutrality would suggest it's it's pleasant for me though to have neutrality. Yeah. I haven't because we haven't tasted all of them before. Yes. It's hard to just yeah. kind of have a baseline. So let's just give it like a three or four, like. Three. Okay, 3.5. 3.5. It's just pleasant, a little above. All right, I, I'm in agreement with that. Okay. Next is the texture, the size of the bubbles. Um, they're large. Yeah, they're large. I guess. Yeah. And then the strength of the fizz. I would say around a three. They're not. It's not super strong, but it's again, it's a pleasant water. Yeah, it wasn't super fizzy. It was. It was fine. Run of the mill kind of like uh, club soda. Um, okay, so you said three? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a two. Okay. Okay. And then the last one, we have aftertaste. Yeah. I don't know, tastes like water, no well, aftertaste. I guess the question is, is it bad to have an aftertaste? I or don't. Yeah. I probably prefer not to have an aftertaste. Okay. Me too. So I would say no aftertaste would be the highest. And I would say that that then is a five. There's no aftertaste. Okay. So five for both of us. Okay. All right. Next, San Peregrino. Probably one of the more well known ones. Yeah. Find it everywhere. All restaurants. I don't know if this will get caught on camera, but. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. It looks busier. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat, I can tell there's like a mineral taste to it. Yeah. It's not neutral. No. I guess that's why it's a mineral water. Yeah. It's almost, 
I don't want to say sweet. Hard to describe what it is, but there is a minerality to it. Yeah, there is. And the question is, do you find that pleasant? And I like it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. There's that. Uh... Yeah, it tastes good. So, taste? I would give it at least a 4, maybe a 4.5. Okay. What are your thoughts? I kind of like that it, the other one didn't have mm -hmm. any taste, too. Yeah. Like, this doesn't bother me, it has a taste, but mm -hmm. I'm going to probably give it... Um, so you gave it a 4? I'll give it a 4. Or 4. Oh, 4. 4. Yeah. four? Yeah. I'm going to give it um, I'll give it like a 3.5. Okay. Alright, so the size of the bubbles. They looked pretty big, but I don't think they were quite as big as the... Yeah, they still look big to me. Yeah, okay, they were large. large. Yeah. Um, fizziness. I found it fizzier than yeah, uh, me too. the Nestle, so I would give the power uh, like a four. Four? Yeah. I'd agree with that. Yeah. And the aftertaste? Didn't really... Not really any aftertaste. No. It, it was minerally, Yeah. if that's the word, but it... Yeah. Like, so if we were to think of uh, aftertaste as something negative, I didn't feel there was an aftertaste no. that stayed with me. Like, Ooh, but it was all good. All right, I'll give it a five. What about you? Yep, five. All right, next, the Hi. famous Perrier. As a kid, I always thought that this was kind of like hoity-toity, like high-class people drink it. I guess you're high-class now. How does it feel to be high-class? <laughs> I can tell that the bubbles are smaller yeah. in some instances, and some of them are big. Yeah. I don't know if that's just, I don't so know, just my imagination. Yeah, like you gotta mix. Some of them yeah. are smaller. It's a very much different than that one. I think overall the the, the bubbles are a bit bigger, like on to on the totality of it all. Okay, okay let's try your bit. Bon appetit. Bon. Oh well, I guess. It's bon cheers. cheers. Hmm. <laughs> I like that taste. That's... That was good. I'll give mine. I'll give a, a five. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I liked it too. I'll go for that. Um, Didn't yeah. The size of the the, the size of bubbles. On your tongue, because yeah. that's where you can really yeah. notice it. Did you notice? I thought they. I thought it was a different yeah. texture. Yeah. Like it was smaller. If the, maybe it's my imagination. I don't know. Like maybe it was just the texture. It different because there were there were more smaller and big ones. It's just there was more of them. So I guess that goes to fizziness. But the size of the bubbles, I think it was a mix. But there was a yeah. whole bunch of them. So I would say they were inconclusive. Yeah, that's right. This is. I where... guess I guess it's kind of like a little of everything. So yeah. small, medium, and large. Yeah. Um, Fizz. The, the fizziness. I found it the most powerful. Yeah. I think I would give it a five for that. So far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd give it a five. Aftertaste? I would just say five. There was no aftertaste. Yeah, it was just there's no aftertaste. Pleasant. But what I will say, between this one and this one, the San Peregrino was definitely had more minerality. It did, and it had less of a punch in terms of the actual fizziness. I think, I'm surprised. Like I didn't know there'd be that much of a difference. I know. Yeah. But. Uh, and I think they're bottled both in, like, one is in Italy okay. and the other one is in France. Okay. okay. I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, I guess it depends on the region because they're both natural and I think carbonation either gets added to the water or it comes out of the, out of the, out of the, I guess, spring mm -hmm. fizzy. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, all right, next. Do you want to go blue? The blue. <laughs> President's Choice. Ooh, it's got a bit of fizz. Thank you. Oh. Ooh, there's a big bubble there. It has a mixture. This mixture ain't small. And I look down through the top of... Oh, look, it's jumping too. Jumping bubbles. I look down through the top. It doesn't seem as busy in terms of bubbles. There's not as many, but... Yeah. Cheers. Sir. Cheers. The taste was more neutral. Very neutral. Yeah. Whatever they water they use for this, yeah. I don't think it was as good as the the pure Mostly. life. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
it yeah mm -hmm. i don't know if they didn't filter the water enough or what is it it just says ingredients uh carbonated water yeah uh yeah i right. agree that was so i i would say maybe what it's 2.5 or something we gave uh this one a 3.5 yeah so three. you're giving that a 2.5 yeah in terms of the taste all right i'll give it i'm gonna give it a two okay <clears throat> I'll average these in the end, maybe, or something. I don't know. The size of the bubbles. The size of the bubbles. I, I'll, I'll speak about what they felt in your mouth, right? Um, they felt like they were big bubbles when they hit my palate. Like, mm, my I agree. Palate. I agree. The puree, it, it was like, yeah. it was just felt smaller on your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a little large. There was more of a complexity to that one, perhaps, with the I never thought I was silly. Say, I, know. Yeah, I know. I never thought I would say that about water. <laughs> Fizziness. Um, I found it powerful. I found it fizzy. Yeah. I like that. That so, part I liked. So, so um, I would give it a four. For four? Fizziness. Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a five. Okay. And then for aftertaste, I didn't find there was an aftertaste. Yeah, no aftertaste, no. so five. No. I think the aftertaste come very similar. They are yeah. waters, but yeah. they, you never know. It's like, I hope there's no aftertaste. Not. <laughs> it's not good. What did I just drink? <laughs> Last one, Canada geese. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. No goose. Okay, there wasn't as much of a fizz coming up when you open that. Not at all. That's good. Yeah. Poured a little bit too much last time. <laughs> oh, it seems like there's, when I look down through it, it seems like there's a fair number of bubbles. They're more smaller than larger. Yeah, the bubbles are smaller. But I think that has to do with they get they're small and then they get big. Maybe it's just it's just the pressure, uh, the atmospheric pressure, because as it gets out of pressure, I think uh, that my my high school physics eludes me at this point. But anyways, cheers. cheers. That's, I'm, I didn't even drink all of that. I did. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> that is just yeah. awful. Yeah, so it doesn't have a very good taste. So I was thinking like, oh, they're all gonna be alike, but that is definitely like a 0. 0.5. What is in this? Yeah. Natural mineral water, carbon dioxide. Okay. Maybe it's water after the geese have been in it or something, I don't know. I don't know, but this is, <laughs> yeah. that is bad. Yeah. That is terrible. Okay, that does. Uh, right. Taste, I give it a 0.5. You're giving a 0.5? Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess we can't give it anything less. I won't give it a zero, I'll give it a 0.5 as well. So 0.5. Um, I don't know. Like in the size mouth, of the bubbles? You know, like do we judge in the mouth or in the glass? Because in the mouth, I felt like it was drinking water. There was nothing there. There wasn't even any bubbles. No. So that kind of relates to the next one, the fizziness. Yeah, so go, let's go right to the fizziness because it was like zero for fizziness so, or a point, a, a point 0.5. For... Fizziness was like point 0.5. Yeah. And then the aftertaste. I think there was a bit of an aftertaste. The after, there was an aftertaste. <laughs> And we didn't try these beforehand. No. Well, actually, I've never tried this one before. We've tried, like, we've obviously drank these two, but uh, so. Yeah, I would give the aftertaste probably a point one. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad aftertaste. Yeah, that was a bad aftertaste. Okay, so besides like the numbers, because we yeah. talked about you know what, through. never mind this, but it's kind of yeah. fun that we yeah. kind of did a rating. What What are your commentaries? Like, yeah, not so much. This. I use it to do your laundry or don't you know, buy it <laughs> don't bu just don't buy it this is this is yeah this is just bad yeah that's, that's bad the blue menu the blue menu it kind of reminded me a little bit of when we were in Italy and they had you know uh, with gas and then it was like like a lot of gas or not a whole bunch of gas that being frizzed or not and that just seemed really lightly frizzed so it was okay but it was it was like drinking more of water than yeah else. it didn't have any no i hate to say you know but water but any complexity to it it no. just it tasted a bit like tap water yeah. with 
fizziness in it. And tap water that wasn't filtered. Yeah, like, there's that. Yeah. yeah. Um, what if you went to the Nestle? Yeah, let's go to the Nestle then, because we're going to be rating just the, yeah. the waters that look like they were bottled and then not from like a spring. Um, this one was fine. Yeah, that was fine. So if we were to put this in order, like how, what order would you put it in? Okay, so I'd probably go like, yeah, I'd probably go like that. This was pleasant. I, between I, these two, I could, the, these two here, San Peregrino and the Nestle Pure Life, I could, they could be interchangeable for me. Yeah, and the thing is, this may even be at our local grocery store, it may be cheaper. So if you're looking from a, from a money perspective, maybe you would go over and take that over this. But I, I have to say this was, I thought these two would be the same, like closely the same, maybe the bu bubble size a little different, but this I found the most yeah. comfortable. I, I, I would concur yeah. with that. So based on what though? Like for me, it was based on the taste. It wasn't as minerally as that. But it still had a yes. bit of minerality to it. Not yeah. a lot. It had a nice taste. I yeah. can't, I can't say what exactly it tastes no. like. Uh, but it just tastes good. Excuse me, I'm and burping. This, <laughs> and the size of the bubble, there was a comp it's so silly, but there was a p complexity with bubbles, big ones and small ones, and they were all sort of playing in your mouth as they as you were drinking. So that was pleasant. And uh, the the strength of the bubbles was really good. Yeah. Okay, we have a winner. We're doing. We're gonna stick with the Perrier. Although I'll drink any of them except for this one. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Not that one. This was okay. These three though are all pretty good. Yeah. And. These were very similar in price too. Yes. Yeah. So, and these when they go on sale, they're they're fairly inexpensive as yeah. well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the Perry definitely is the best. So, all right. Yeah. I think we have a winner. Thank you. Cool. All right. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed us rating water, um, give this a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. We'll have uh, more coming up. All right. Bye. Bye.